Welcome everybody, Farm Sim Snowy here. In this video we're going to look at a new mod map released for Farm and Simulator 19. This is a Stancia Sao Carlos map by Dayton Henrique. It's 134.42 megabytes to download. And it says Estancia Sao Carlos is a Brazilian map based on the region of the municipality of Jatai Guas. I probably said that wrong. Map with small town accompanied by a gas station and a mechanic. Map with 23 fields with missions present with additional crops such as beans and sorghum. The sale of grains in general can be made in the warehouses Paraiso and Boa Vista. The Boa Vista warehouse accepts grains, potatoes, beets and sugar cane in addition to bales of cotton, wool, grass, silage and straw. At the animal dealer is a point for selling silage, straw and grass. In the city it is possible to sell potatoes, beets and eggs at the Sao Carlos market. Milk is sold at the dairy. At the sawmill you can sell logs and wood chips. To buy limestone you have to take a trailer to the unloading point at the limestone mine. On each farm there is a water collection point. The main farm comes with a house for sleeping, a chicken coop and pasture for sheep. The map has another farm with a sleeping house, cow pasture and a bunk of silage. BGA for working with silage. Thank you and have a good game. So let's go and check it out. And here we are. This is where you start off in all three modes. This is the map, as you can see. Some nice big fields on here. I'm in new farmer mode. So in new farmer mode, we start off with, like it says in the description, this farm area here, and you get field 20. It all comes as one plot. So to buy that in the other two modes, it's 829,952. We get, like it says, sheep pasture there, farmhouse with sleep trigger, chicken coop, and that's your water point, like so. We actually start off here up at the shop. This is where most of your equipment is, and I say most because we have a random tractor up here which we will check out in a minute, which I think is quite a quirky little touch. There is the cow farm, like it says, down here. That comes with field 23 as one plot. That's 1.1 million, though, just over. That's also got a farmhouse, sleep trigger, cow pasture, and the water pen, uh, water point, sorry. There is also another farmhouse over here with a water point, nothing else on it. And that is 604,000 to buy. You've got various sell points dotted around which we'll check out. The field prices obviously are going to vary because you can see the size of them. So field 4 for instance, 386. I think 13 is the biggest. That is a whopping 1.6 million. I think 11 was the smallest. That's 282,000. There is a fenced in there is a sort of gateway there you can just see the track going in grass area here with a few trees scattered around inside so you could turn that into something a field maybe or whatnot that's 347,000 to buy there is the outside of a map which is 2 million just over that takes in all the sale points and just like the outside of the map like I say so some of the sale points are quite big in terms of areas so you might be able to buy that if you wanted to and place some things down in the yards of those areas if you want to there is custom crops on here like it says go to the end we've got black bean and sorghum there is contracts available as well as you can see pretty cool let's have a quick look at the cell points so there's two main cell points and the rest are sort of specific to certain things which we will check out as well as we go round 
in terms of the slot count and that we'll do that now and then we'll tour around we'll probably end up finishing the tour at the main farm in new farmer mode so slot counts is the same across all three modes because you start off with exactly the same equipment the only difference being in farm manager and start from scratch you don't start with any land so it's 603 slots out of 1299 if you sell everything off you can get that down to 400 slots which is pretty good but we start off with a Stara ST Max 105, Massey Ferguson 7719, John Deere 6145, You've got the Lizard Warrior Truck, John Deere T560 Harvester, we've got the 78 Pickup, we've got a Crampe Trailer, Stara Ninja Auger Wagon, we've got headers for your harvester, we've got Agrimash Plow. We've got the Star of Fox Cultivator, which does allow you to plant three crops there. You've got a planter, the Horse Maestro Planter. As you can see, you've got the black bean and sorghum symbols there. I'll go through that as well in a second. We've got a liquid fertilizer and herbicide sprayer, solid fertilizer spreader, the Joskin Aquatrans for your water, header trailer, and a weight, and that is all we get. Well, I say all, that's quite a lot actually. There is only one modded in item that I can see, and that is the small bunker silo, which is at the cow farm. That is it. So in terms of the custom crops, obviously the trailers are going to be adapted, as you can see the two symbols on the end there to take them. You harvest them with a normal header, both of the crops as you can see down the bottom there the symbols as well and the cedars let's go on one there we'll do both crops and the planters let's go on another one where you can see we'll also do both crops so that's pretty good you can get away with doing both the crops with cedars and planters that is the nitty gritty out of the way i think one thing i will point out is it did allow me to use all the sleep triggers and all the animal pens without owning them so you will be able to use those without owning them so just thought I'd point that out there is a BGA as well I forgot to show you that's 195,000 to buy so not too bad so what I'll do is I'll show you around the shop area quick and then we're going to lease the pickup and go around so we got our workshop trigger just there with the icon and they've got the shop icon, icon menu just there and we've got a cash machine just there. So I'm going to lease a pickup which should appear there hopefully and we'll whiz round. Slightly more to the right than what I said but this is also your reset point so if you buy lease anything as you can see it will appear here. So we'll go out of the shop. I must admit I do like this map. It's, um, stay on this bit of the road. Well, it's a bit more of a sidewalk. We've got our fuel station just there. It feels a little bit more, I want to say commercialised than some of the other Brazilian maps we've had, but that's probably the wrong term to use. But with the main sort of roads, I know some of the others have had main roads on them, but it just feels a lot, I don't know, it just feels there's more life it's a bit more bustly I think anyway just to our left there we've got our first of our sale point which is Sao Carlos market which is going to do that's down the bottom potato sugar beet and eggs I think that was it yep yeah, pretty much so we'll head up dairy stations just over the road um, further up the road sorry and that will do milk We've got another cash machine just there so just in there through this barrier you can just see the tanker there with the hatched areas for your milk sale point and then we'll scoot across into here because we've got the sawmill go this way around actually because I want to come out that you've got your timber lumber sale point just there 
and the icons just underneath the canopy there and then in the back corner here we've got our wood chip cell point got all the sounds and noises of the sawmill which I like and talking of sounds as well driving around this map instead of getting the normal sort of tweeting and singing of the standard birds every now and then you hopefully will hear it you get like a sort of parakeet squawking away which is quite smart anyway we'll take you around here because this is where our poorly John Deere is which like I said quite a nice little touch that is so if we stop there we've got another workshop just here with the icon just over there and this is where our John Deere is and as you can see it's a bit of a sorry state all the paintwork's gone it's all muddy and talking of that if we do go into our equipment menu some of it is in need of a repair if we go right down towards the bottom obviously ignore the lizard pickup because that's the one I've got least John Deere's down the bottom there zero percent so that is in desperate need of repair anyway back out onto the main road as you can see it's a lot more built up here it's more residential up this end of the map and we're gonna head down to the BGA I don't know why it just feels really cool this map I like it so into the BGA we've got a bunker silo just here another entrance exit just there the digestate pipe just there in front of us and your cell point or digester is just there that is your BGA if we come out barriers will automatically open we go down I think this is the first of the main cell points but I do like the main roads that are coming off of here on the map if we were to follow this main road all the way up you will eventually come to our main farm our starting farm so you've got a bit of a way station there just to our right and then just in here under the canopy is your cell point show you what we did so we started off at the shop got on our pickup we did the fuel station the market milk selling point sawmill round here to the poorly john deere back out bga down here we're now at pariso warehouse which is their main sell point take your standard crops plus potatoes sugar beets and the two custom crops black bean and sorghum now so yeah you've got a main road that sort of goes north to south like that all the way down and then you've got that one that goes across there like I say that will take you to the main farm like so but we are going to come out of here and we need to nip across there and down into here and we're going to check out this farm and then the lime station I don't know what it is with the Brazilian maps of late, but pretty much everyone's had a lime stone mine on them. <laughs> All pretty similar as well. This one is probably a little bit more better in terms of detail. Right, we're just going to whiz past this chat. But as you can see, the fields are absolutely huge look at the size of that one so you're gonna be earning some good money off of here but you're also gonna have to be putting in a shift for it so I missed this turning earlier so I need to keep my eyes open here it is so we turn down here we kind of start going onto the dirt tracks which again I quite like, it's got a nice texture to it and it's got a lovely distance as well texture to it I mean you can see for miles everywhere you look 
pretty impressive and all with the different trees like the palm trees or whatever they are there they just gives you that sort of samba feel right just down into here is that little other farmhouse with a water point so your water point just there your farmhouse like I say we can go up and use the sleep triggers and there's a little shed space just over there so that is that little one and if we come out and go left we'll head on down to the limestone mine the lighting's really good on here as well it's not dark or anything in places apart from when you go under some of the trees like now but that's to be expected it's a shadow it's nothing wrong with that but as you can see this is pretty impressive as we go down the color palette as well has done been done really well everything sort of fits into place nothing looks awkward or out of place so we can go straight on here or we could have used that hairpin turn a little bit of storage space there but your line by point is just here under this pipe like so and then if we come back up this way oh actually what I was going to do sorry guys because it's a bit of a trek out because now we want to come pretty much that's the only way out to come back out I'll cut till we get sort of back onto this road heading down and then I think we'll do the animal dealer first and no we won't we'll do this area first because that's coming up first so I'll see you in a second guys so we're back on the main road now we should come up to these two cell points which is the second of the main cell points and a bell cell point so we've, again you've got a sort of way station just there but just all these little trees I just love it. it it doesn't that look really I don't know tropical Caribbean's probably the wrong term to use I don't know but just in here is your main cell point the slight difference with this one compared to so yeah we are now at the warehouse this takes all your standard crops this also will take sugar cane as well as potatoes and sugar beet whereas the other one didn't and also black bean and sorghum and then just above us we've got bow of easter bells which that will do your cotton and your wool and also your silage grass hay and straw bells as you can see and that is situated over in this corner in that easy shed or just in front of it there you go you can see the cotton and the wall there to give you a sort of indication but as you can see like I said there's quite a bit of room in most of these sale points whether you can actually place anything I'm not sure so we'll get back up onto this main road head on down and we want to turn left here because we've got our animal dealer and the straw cell point which will take again all your silage grass hay and straw loose or in bales so we jump out your animal dealer just there and then your bell cell point is just there in front of those doors just to double check and show you we're now at straw which just does those like so from there we are going to come back up cut all the way across here and we'll end up at the cow farm which will be one of the first of the animal pens Yeah, it's definitely, I would say, my favourite Brazilian map that's come out recently. Now I 
idea what that says, something in 500 meters. So if we swing a left here, again field 22 doesn't look that big on the map but when you're actually alongside it, it is quite big. You've got the old electricity pylons running through some of these fields which will give you a challenge. The farms are nicely laid out as well. You've got a little bit of sort of water feature at the back of this one. As we come round, I'll stop roughly here, I think, and we'll have a little wander around on foot. So the farmhouse is not that one, I don't think. It's this one. Doesn't matter which door you come to. It's pretty much anywhere underneath that canopy. So there you go, you're not tired. There is a light there, I wonder if that's automatic. Not sure, didn't test that. Shed space, and again, huge drive through. There is lights on these, which are pretty smart. I can say, bom bom bom, beep beep beep. <laughs> I do like those lights, childish I know, but. Again, a little bit more space there. There's your water point, just there. And then over here, you can open these, like so, to go in. Cows will appear all out there. It's quite a big pasture, which is nice to see. Your dialogue box is here. This will hold 300 cows. And everything on all the animal pens is pretty self-explanatory. So you've got your straw point just across here. Around this side, you've got your feed trough, your water trough. You've got your milk point just there. And then over this side, we've got slurry and manure. So pretty easy to work out. And also, this is that modded in small bunker silo. So you can get going with your silage, which is pretty smart. So let's quickly show you what we did. We came out of this warehouse cell point. Go all the way down, we cut through there and then all the way through here to this bit, lime station, out of there, down, these two cell points, across there, animal dealer straw, cut across here, we're now at the main farm, then we're going to cut all the way up through these fields, which you can, you get to see some of them fields, how big they are, and then we'll end up at the main farm, like I say, that will be it, the end of the tour. I see already on mud, uh, mud, mod hub on the website this has got a pretty good score as well I think it's something like 4.5 stars out of 80 odd something reviews so people are already liking it I like it as well I must admit So I think it's this one, so that's a dead end up there. Again, you can see the size of these fields. This one's got some trees in the middle. Nothing stopping you from clearing them and plowing that through to make it more manageable. Oh, driving on someone's crop. So around this bend, again, huge fields. Some of them have got fences around them, but not all of them and it's only that little bit really back up we should be yeah there's the main road we literally need to go across straight across the main road hopefully not hitting anyone we'll make that so that's our field there to our left field 20 again it's got some electricity pylons in the middle for you to navigate your way around a few little trees here you could maybe can you hear that parrot parakeet that's the first time i've heard it on the map tour anyway we'll turn that off so this is where most of your equipment is bar the john deere well all of your equipment sorry 
And again, I like this. This is a nice touch. You've got your chicken coop here. Just outside here is your dialogue box, like so. This will hold 400 chickens, which is a nice amount for your chickens. Your eggs will appear here. And what I like is when you buy the chickens, they all run around the yard. And I was thinking, well, where's the feed point then? Where's the feed trough? What I like is it's right over here, out of the way. Just there. I thought that's cool because obviously they are roaming around. It's not all plonked down in one spot. Anyway, more of our equipment here. Huge shed with lights on again, light switch just on the pillar. And if we run over here, our farmhouse is this one. Again, you only need to come underneath the canopy there for it to come up. You don't need to be right by the door. We've got our truck just there with the trailer. More equipment over there, we'll look at that sec. Here's your water trailer. We've got our sheep pasture here. Again, that opens like so. Your dialogue box just in front of the gates. This will hold 250 sheep. Nice and simple again. Feed trough, water trough, and then your wall, you probably saw just a second ago, is just there. Pretty smart. More of our equipment tucked in underneath there. We have got a bit of a ramp here for loading or unloading, if you so wish. Like so. If we come around the front of this building, we've got quite a big sort of warehouse. Like so. There some more of our equipment is. And we have lights on this side as well. There you go. So that is it. That is the map. I think I've covered everything. So yeah, we came from the cow farm all the way up through these little tracks. It's nice that you can cut through. And we ended up here at the main farm. I forgot to show you the water tower, did I? It's just over there in the background. You can see there it is. That is it. That's the Estancia Sao Carlos map by Dayton Henrique. Hope you all have enjoyed the tour. If you have, please give us a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then please do. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty.